Virgin Hair Malaysian Curling. Um, Thursday, today is Friday. Yeah, so yesterday would be my actual four week, you know, mark for the hair. Um, as you see the hair, I did install it differently. This is actually on a wig cap, this is on a dome cap, and it's pretty much a three fourth wig, like a small V, like the smallest V freaking known to man. So just like the regular way you do a three fourth wig, just in a small V shape versus a U shape. That's it. So that's why I didn't show you guys because there's really no need to really show y'all that. Um, I just really didn't want to have a lot of leave out because I really just didn't want to have any leave out with this hair if I could avoid it. Um, but yeah, so let me think of everything I want to say because it's a lot, a lot to say about this hair because a lot to say about this hair. Um, so yeah. I want to talk about the negatives first. The main, main thing that I have a problem with, with the hair is the ends. Like, they're, like, they're thin. Like, for example, back here, I'm going to one, two, two. So, you'll see, like, how the hair is really the thickest, like, in the top part. And then once you get to the ends, you can, like, see right through them. Like, they're, like, thin. You can see, like, right through them, like... And that's like everywhere in the hair, like all of the hair is like that, like they're very see-through ends, like, so the hair isn't, um, I don't, it's not, it's not as full all the way through because the ends are really thin. Um, with the ends being thin, when I straighten the hair, um, everything straightened well, y'all know all of that, but when I, um, wash the hair, again, I wash this hair. Shampoo and condition it once, and then I co-washed it two times since I straightened the hair. And um, it took a few washes for the hair to get back the way, like, the curly that it was. And it still to me really not back to the exact curl pattern. The ends are, like, a lot more fuzzy now. And um, they were, in the beginning, they were still really straight after I would wash them. But they're, like, they're frizzy now. Like, I can't even really get a defined curl because the hair is like, the ends are like really frizzy. Like in here, you see it's curly in here and then the ends just get frizzy. But um, yeah, so that's like the only, only problem I have with the hair is the ends because the ends are what's giving me the most grief right now, just being frizzy, not dealing with the heat well. Um, But also remember, I actually put heat on this hair three days in a row. I put it on 400 the first time and then like 350 the two other times. So like for heat, you wouldn't even do that to your real hair. You wouldn't even put that amount of heat for that long um, on your hair. So I feel like the hair did really well coming back from being straight in for a week. I, had, I left my hair straight for like a week, but I only actually put heat to the hair like three days in a row and I left it alone. Um, when I did the pin curls in the hair, the curls didn't really stay like they were okay in the beginning as soon as I stepped outside they dropped like drop 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 um so I would say if you do straighten the hair and you want to curl it you're going to have to use products you're going to have to use like some holding spray or humidity spray or something to hold your curls because they will drop um I later on tried to use flexi rods on there and the curls lasted a little longer but still not long enough like they still ended up dropping like sooner than I wanted them to so I don't know products. I feel like you have to use products to get the curls to stay because this hair is naturally, you know, curly, not straight and then curled that way. So, um, you gotta use products with it. But the hair can be straightened. The hair can be curled. I did show you guys all of that and the hair is that curly. Now, is it the exact curl pattern as it was in the beginning? I don't think so. But it doesn't really bother me. I think the hair just looks super natural regardless. Um, I love Malaysian texture so far because I feel like it's 
it's coarse but still silky like it's just like right in the middle um, I still think it's workable for like if you're relaxed or tech slacks you're going to have no problems with blending um, if you're um, natural I still think you'll have a really good chance of blending your hair with this especially the curly anyways because the curly is like it's so natural looking you know what I mean like I can't even really explain but it's, it's just natural like you can't even you can't even tell like I just love it I'm going to show you on the back So yeah, um, pretty much, I love his hair. Um, trying to get everything I want to say. Um, I really just put his hair through like hell. Like I, for like two weeks, I didn't tie the hair up. I went to sleep. I didn't put nothing on it. Like I just went to sleep. Like I don't have to braid the hair down. I didn't put it in anything. Like I, most of the time, I'll put it up in a ponytail and I have like a bandana around it, and I would like sleep with my hair like that. And then wake up and go to work on my hair like that. And it's just, I just really didn't do much to this hair. Like, towards the end, because I just had a lot going on. With this hair, though, I, you don't have to baby it. You know what I mean? You don't have to constantly co-wash it every day. You don't have to constantly, you know what I'm saying? You still want to try to wrap it up and things. But, you know, you don't really have to. Because I don't, I don't really wrap up all my hair. I ain't going to lie to you and tell you I do because I don't. But, um... I have to um, do a lot to this hair, like really, really, that's why I like it so much because it's so, like, really low maintenance, like for real, for real, um, and I love it because it, it's like, looks like my hair and feels like wonderful and it's soft and, and, yeah, but, yes, other than these ends that I can't stand, because I really can't stand these ends, y'all, I really can't stand these ends, um, and the webs are like really ugly, the hair don't shed, the hair don't tangle, nothing like never matted never nothing like it don't even tangle in the back like it never has like it never has now that I um, reinstalled it on this wig it's um it shed it a little more but then it stopped again because once it's dry and stuff it really it just don't shed like it just don't and when I wash it or if I comb through the hair like while it's dry then I get the most shedding but for the most part I really don't get a lot of shedding even with that I don't get a lot of shedding you know what I mean so shedding and tangling awesome 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 and I that is really what does it for me shedding and tangling are the main two things I would not deal with with hair like tangling hell no hell no hell no Shedding, you could probably deal with that a little bit, you know what I mean? Like, you could probably deal with a little shedding, but like tangling, it's not happening. Like, that's just, no, no. But the hair doesn't tangle or shed, so I'm really, really very impressed with that fact of the hair. Um, do I recommend this hair? Duh. Like, of course I recommend this hair. It's very, very reasonable pricing. She has wonderful customer service. She can get back with you as soon as possible. Instagram, I know she on there, like, faithfully. She's a faithful Instagrammer, I know. Um, you can get at her and she gonna answer you, you know what I mean? Um, so I think everything that I wanna say, like I really just love this hair. Like y'all seen and when I first installed the hair and time and time after that, like, you know, all the versatility of the hair, how much I got to do with the hair and how much I really you could tell y'all know I like something, y'all know I like something, you feel me? Um, so I like it. I do. <laughs> right now it's actually my favorite curly compared to my pretty little virgins, it's really hard. Um, they're similar, but at the same time, my Malaysian curly is like a, a longer curl, and the deep wave was more of a tighter curl, so they, I have the same length, the 22, 20, and the 16, and my Brazilian deep wave hair was a lot shorter, this, like, is longer, and I like that about it, because the curls are, like, long, I just really don't like them ends, child, I don't, but... <laughs> I'm oh, sorry, y'all. Like, I just keep looking at these ends and it's like getting on there and putting it. I have to like wet it down all over again to see if I can work something out. But, um, other than that, like, I really do like the hair. Like, I, I swear to y'all, like, y'all know I ain't even gonna lie. Like, real shit. Um, I will be wearing this hair again probably like the summertime when summer come around. I may get a closure because I really don't feel like dealing with like my leave out. I'm gonna actually start stretching my tech slack like six months instead of doing every three but that's going to be a whole other video where I talk to you guys about my actual hair because y'all want to see um, my hair update and stuff like that. December will actually be my two year mark on my hair journey so in December I will do like complete everything, everything talking about my hair and all of that so stay tuned for that. Um, I have I think two other reviews coming up so you guys stay tuned for that. As far as my Victoria's Virgin hair, I love this Malaysian curly like nobody's business. My favorite curly hair right now, hands down, my favorite. Um, 
So yeah, like I said, you will be seeing this again because this is just, this is, this, this hair makes me feel like somebody, like this is cute. But yeah, um, thanks for watching, you guys. And any questions, anything you want to ask me, hit me up. I'm out of here. Hey